but behold i jacob would speak unto you that are pure in heart look unto god with firmness of mind and pray unto him with exceeding faith and he will console you in your afflictions and he will plead your cause and send down justice upon those who seek your destruction O oh, all you that are pure in heart, lift up your heads and receive the pleasing word of God, and feast upon his love, for you may, if your minds are firm forever. But woe, woe, woe unto you that are not pure in heart, that are filthy this day before God, for except you repent, the land is cursed for your sakes, and the Lamanites which are not filthy like unto you, nevertheless they are cursed with a sore cursing, shall scourge you even unto destruction. And the time speedily comes that, except you repent, they shall possess the land of your inheritance. And the Lord God will lead away the righteous out from among you. Behold the Lamanites, your brethren, whom you hate because of their filthiness, and the cursing which has come upon their skins, are more righteous than you, for they have not forgotten the commandments of the Lord, which was given unto our father, that they should have saved were one wife, and concubines they should have none, and there should not be whoredoms committed among them. And now this commandment they observe to keep. Wherefore, because of this observance in keeping this commandment, the Lord will not destroy them, but will be merciful unto them, and one day they shall become a blessed people. Behold, their husbands love their wives, and their wives love their husbands, and their husbands and their wives love their children. And their unbelief and their hatred towards you is because of the iniquity of their fathers. Wherefore, how much better are you than they in the sight of your great creator? He's saying the people who have one wife and one husband are better than the people who have many. Oh, my brethren, I fear that unless you shall repent of your sins, that your skins will become whiter than yours when you shall be brought with them before the throne of God. Wherefore, a commandment I give unto you, which is the word of God, that you rival no more against them because of the darkness of their skins. Neither shall you rival against them because of their filthiness. But you shall remember your own filthiness and remember that their filthiness came because of their fathers. Wherefore, you shall remember your children, how that you have grieved their hearts, because of the example that you have set before before them. And also remember that you may, because of your filthiness, bring your children on to destruction, and their sins be heaped upon your heads at the last day. O oh, brethren, hearken unto my words. Arouse the falsi falsities of your souls. Shake yourselves that you may be awake from the slumber of death, and loose yourselves from the pains of hell that you may not be come angels to the devil, to be cast in the lake of fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And I now, Jacob, spake, spake many more things unto the people of Nephi, warning them against fornication and leviticusness and every kind of sin, telling them the awful consequences of them. And on a hundred part of the proceedings of this people, which now began to be numerous, cannot be written upon these plates but many of their proceedings are written upon the larger plates and their wars and their contentions and their reigns of their kings these plates are called the plates of jacob and they were made by the hand of nephi and i made an end of speaking these words